hello and welcome to my channel my name is koya renee and happy almost halloween everyone i wanted to create this look for halloween this little sexy skull head looking girl thingy person <laughs> and i'm going to go in with my morphe jacqueline hill palette I'm going to take that light brown shade and use it for my first transitioning color. And then I'm going to take like this burnt orange, almost brown looking shade and use that as my second transitioning color. So once I'm done blending in that orange shade, I'm going to blend around the edges. And then I'm going to take this black eyeshadow and put that on my lids. And then we're going to create like a smoky eye today. So I'm going to blend that into that orange shade. So the key to blending an eyeshadow, you always want to make sure that you go back in with your transitioning color to blend around the edges of your lid color. After that, I'm going to take my NYC liquid liner and I'm going to line my lids. And then after that, I'm going to take, go in with my foundation from Maybelline. And I'm only going to put my foundation on half of my face today because we're going to create a school and I'm not going to need, I, there's no need to waste any foundation and put it all over my face. So I'm just going to use it for the top half of my face. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer from Maybelline in the shade Cafe. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, in the center of my forehead. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer in place. So after letting that powder bake on my face for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off any excess powder. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline's Fit Me Powder and then I'm going to set all over the top half of my face. After that, I took some black shadow to line my waterline, and then under that black eyeshadow, I took some brown eyeshadow and went underneath that black shadow to kind of smoke out underneath my eyes. So now we're going to go ahead and create our skull, and I'm going to use my concealer from LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I am going to start to carve out this skull head i'm going to go down the bridge of my nose and then kind of round it off around my cheeks and then i'm just going to fill it in all around the bottom half of my face so this is another alternative if you don't have any like face paint or anything you can go ahead and go in with some concealer and i didn't mind going in with this concealer because this concealer is only like five dollars so it's like it's fairly cheap like I didn't mind and I didn't use a lot I really didn't like it looked like I used a lot but I really did not use a lot and um, the product scratched pretty well so yes if you don't have any face paint this is a great alternative to use if you don't have any face paint just go ahead and go in with your concealer I would suggest going in with any name brand concealer or any high-end concealer because that's a waste of product go in with some LA girl pro conceal or some other cheap or affordable concealer that you have that you don't mind replacing if you use too much of it
So because we're using concealer, we're going to go ahead and set that concealer. And I'm using some eyeshadow to set my concealer. Like I said, this is another alternative. You can always go ahead and go set it with some powder. But I don't want to use my powder like that. So I just said <laughs> I'm going to use some eyeshadow that I barely use. And I'm just going to use that to set my score in place. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take some black eyeshadow. And then I'm going to outline my score. I'm going to go around that circular area around my eyes and then i'm going to fill in the area around my nose and then i am going to fill in what y'all gonna y'all gonna see it <laughs> So right here, I am just dragging that black eyeshadow down to create some sort of gradient effect to it and to add sort of something sort of like a shadow to the school. So now I'm going to start to work on the mouth area of my skull. I'm going to start by just patting some black shadow in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to start to carve out the teeth of the skull. Also, I just wanted to add, I apologize if the music in the background of this video is creeping you all out because it because it is low-key creeping me out. Like, I'm sitting here editing this video literally at 1 o'clock in the morning in my room in the dark by myself. And I'm, I'm terrified. But, so, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> So once I've created my teeth, I'm going to go ahead and carve out the bone structure in my skull and then I'm going to fill it in with some more of that black eyeshadow.
so I wanted my skull to look a bit more realistic so I went in with a light brown shade and I just created like a shadow around the area where I created the teeth and around the area where I created the lower jawbone of the skull I also went in and created some black dots around my teeth area and then I'm going to go back in with my brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to swipe the black dot up into the brown eyeshadow so that it can blend and look more realistic. And then here is where I decided to go in with some more of that brown shadow to create a gradient effect for the teeth area of the skull. So I decided to go in with some gold glitter and just add a little bit of a highlight in my teeth. This part is totally optional. You don't have to add this part. I guess I just wanted to be a little bit more extra. So I added some glitter to my teeth. And then I also went underneath my eyes and in the inner corners of my eyes as well with that glitter too. I always wait to the very end to put on my lashes honey because those wings honey is like they too much so this is the finished look you all of my skull i hope you all enjoyed this halloween look i hope you all have a very very fun and spooky and safe halloween be safe make sure you all like comment subscribe and watch my other videos i love you all so so much bye